So welcome to this uh, next fireside uh, chat and talk of the uh, Zero Project Conference 2022. Uh, it's a very special one and I'm really glad and honored to have uh, two distinguished guests with me uh, here this morning in Vienna and this afternoon in India. Uh, so welcome Mr. Kumar and uh, uh, welcome uh, Mrs. Minoy. I'm going to start to introduce uh, uh, Mr. Kumar and uh, uh, then uh, you will come in uh, and Mira and, and, and give us a, a background of the discussion that we're going to have. It will all be about uh, startups uh, and the startup scene in India. Uh, so that's, a, that's a, a forecast of what's happening in its next uh, 15 minutes. So uh, welcome Mr. Kumar and we're really uh, glad to have you here today. Um, I will, Thank you. I will uh, l briefly read from your uh, from a really impressive biography so that really our guests uh, understand uh, uh, who we're talking here today with. So Dr. Rajiv Kumar is vice chairman of NITE IOG, which is a, a government-based um, uh, major resource center in the rank and status of a cabinet minister. He also serves as the chancellor of Kokali Institute of Politics, Economics in Pune and is chairman of the board of governors of the Geary Institute of Development Studies in, in Lucknow. He has a wide experience of having worked in academia, government, industry, as well as in multinational institutions. Um, he served at, on the central boards of State Bank of India for two terms and was also on the central board of Reserve Bank of India. Dr. Kumar has a PhD in economics from Lucknow University and a, and a doctor Phil from Oxford University. So welcome Mr. Kumar, but before you, we go into discussion with you, I'm handing you. over to, to Ms. Mira Shinoi. Uh, Mira, please introduce also yourself and give us the frame of this discussion uh, today. Thanks Michael, thank you so much. Great pleasure to be here. Thanks, first, Rajiv, for so readily accepting the invite. Uh, thanks, Michael, for joining this fireside chat. We could not get a person better than you for that. Thank you. Um, I'm the founder CEO of Youth for Jobs. We are the largest in South Asia, headquartered in India, in the space of skilling and placing in jobs youth with disabilities. We work on a very wide canvas and now become system changers and are an old friend of the Zero Project. Um, let me introduce, the, set the context today for the chat. India has one of the largest ecosystems in the world in the startup space with about 60,000 startups, which have raised about $42 billion. These are not only developing innovative solutions and technologies, but generating employment. New initiatives are being announced by government philanthropies, 